Hello, hello, hello. It's time to play Super Metroid. But this game already has a map, so since I don't have a nice gimmick like an auto mapper to make this worth watching, this is going to be a 100% run that still gets the fastest ending. Uh, this is the first time I've done this before, so I will be rather aggressively using sta save states. But I'll edit all that out, hopefully. So, let us get started. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. I first battled the Metroids on Planet Zebes. It was there that I fo foiled the plans of the space pirate leader, Mother Brain, to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. I next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR388. I completely eradicated them except for a larva, which after hatching, followed me like a confused child. I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research Station at Ceres so scientists could study its energy-producing qualities. The scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. But I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Ceres Station was under attack. And off we go. Research Station is also a space colony, apparently. Alright, let us get moving. All the researchers are dead, and the Metroid's gone. There it is. And there's Ridley. He can't win this fight.
chase Ridley back to Zebes from the first game. Gotta get that Metroid back. Zebes is a little bigger than it is in the first game. Go left, of course. In Turin, this is the room we used to escape in the first game. And here's where Mother Brain used to be. Well, the range changed a little bit since we've been here last. Back in Brinstar. The morphing ball is right where it used to be. Oh no. We seem to have set off an alarm. Alright, we can't go through that door, but we can shoot downwards now. So let's go investigate this. Missiles. All right, we're not going through that door just yet. up here for the map. It's not really necessary, but it'd be a nice thing for the viewer. Alright, we 
have bombs. The door won't open. What's going on? Alright, this guy is the Torizo. Uh, so the manual finally identifies these guys as uh, the race that created the upgrades as the Chozo. guys are called the Torizo, which is... Oh, he's not dead yet. Which is just... Chozo replaced with the Japanese word for bird, Tori. There we go. If you're wondering what route I'm using, it's an old guide that doesn't have too many crazy stunts. Because I can pull off wall jumping, but not, uh, not infinite bomb jumps or anything like that. Alright. This way. Energy. These space pirates need missiles to kill. Just lead some to Torian. The new Torian. Come on. Alright, back to Brinstar. A new section of Brinstar. Much more jungly section of Brinstar. for a map. Sure. This is the first game to hit the one button. Um, this is the first game to include diagonal aiming, which is very nice. Thank you. 
Come on. Any missiles. There we go. Okay. Alright, these guys are key hunters. They're classified as a type of space pirate. Boss. His name is Spore Spawn, by the way. There we go. Not too bad. Ah! Okay. All oh, right. Don't have high jump yet. Down we go. And we have the super missile. All right, so the missiles open green doors. This is also a super missile block. sit through that for every pack. Alright. And here we have the charge beam! Charge beam is very useful. Not only does it let you... Not only does the charge beam let you charge a shot, but if you spin jump while you're holding a charge, then you can, uh, if you do a jump while you got it charged, you have a temporary... Alright, missile! Yeah. 
have to run to make it across this. I'm pretty sure this is the only game with its own run button. Alright, this is just an energy recharge station, but I need it. Sequence breaking here. Normally you need the high jump to get there. But we are getting a spacer early. Which is very nice. Look at that. Say hello and goodbye to Meridia. Alright, here is Norfair. Kill this guy to leave. Get the missiles. That's it, we're not getting the ice beam this trip. Okay, secret room here, and it's our good buddy Crate Slayer. Phaser beams, so it's not too bad.
Okay. Ooh, careful spider spikes. Okay, here's Kraid. Come on, Kraid. Suit. Now we can go deeper into Norfair. Woo! We also take less damage. Back to Norfair. Okay. 
very HR Geiger. Alright, lava's rising. Normally you'd have the ice beam to help with this section, but... Okay, let's do this without missing the boat. And another sequence break. Normally, you need the grapple beam. But, we get another beam early. So we have a more powerful beam and our shots go through walls. Oh no, lava's rising. What am I going to do? Oh, come on. There we go. I missed this the first time. Lost some time because of it. Hooray. save. Let's check our time. Twenty-four minutes! Obviously this isn't counting a lot of things like during transition times. And... Yeah, the guide I'm using had a goal of 20 minutes, so I'm not too bad. Still well on track for the... Uh, well on track for the um, under three hour ending. So, uh, this is a good place to call it for this episode. See you next time.